Hi, this is Dr. Glick with St. Peter's Bone and Joint Surgery, and what we want to accomplish with some videos here is to bring you into how we talk to patients about knee injuries they have, talk about the anatomy, typical reasons they might have pain, and then how we address that. And what we specifically want to accomplish with this video today is to help you understand the internal anatomy of the knee, how that works, and typical um, injuries that might happen there. We also want to let you know we can, uh, you can find more about this at the website. It's set uh, St. Peter's Bone and Joint, spbj.net. Uh, the website's shown up here, and we will have links to these videos and other information on the website to uh, provide some additional education for you either before or after your office visit with us. So let's look at the knee anatomy a little bit more directly here. And we'll see here, this is the uh, patella tendon that runs over the course of the front of the knee. And if we move that to the side, we can then look more directly into the knee joint here. And what we see as we look inside in the joint, Here's the bone, and then what's shown in blue here is the cartilage uh, that creates a smooth surface or the gliding surface for the knee uh, with it. And this is, what, uh, this is the source that, uh, of pain when you have arthritis. And arthritis is essentially loss of this cartilage padding or wear and tear that might develop over time. And so we'll talk more in other videos as, as far as what that means and how we can treat that. The other anatomical landmark that we look at here is the meniscus, and that is this uh, kind of orange or beige colored um, part of the anatomy in this knee model. We see here this serves as a cushion or a shock absorber to the knee. And this is one of the most common injuries that we uh, see and treat here where this creates pain when there's an injury and may flip or move around. You can see that as the knee may turn and pivot that that meniscus provides a stabilizing force in a cushion. The other um, important uh, anatomical landmark here um, and typical source of pain or injury in the knee is the ACL or the ligaments that uh, stabilize the knee. If we look at a close-up here, we can see that the ACL connects the femur to the tibia and helps stabilize the knee. So you can imagine if there's a twisting or turning injury that that could be injured. If we then look at uh, the sides of the knee, we can also see the anatomy over here. And on this side, this is, uh, these are called the collateral ligaments. There's one on the medial side or the inside, one on the outside. These help stabilize the knee from a side-to-side -side force, so these can be injured as well. Uh, fortunately, these typically will heal on their own. This is different than an ACL that may need uh, rehab or potentially surgery to heal as well. So that's a start and a look at the internal anatomy of the knee, and we'll talk more about the external anatomy of the knee, and more specifically look at the meniscus and ACL in further uh, videos. Thank you.